Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling this cool looking modern micro house in Revit. Now this is quite a cool little design and these micro houses are quite popular these days and I thought it would be a good idea to model one of these in Revit. Now this will be a two part tutorial because there's a lot of work in modeling a little house like this and I like to keep these tutorials at around 10 minutes so they don't get too boring and long. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And here, now I am in Revit, but if I minimize Revit, you can see here on desktop, I have this one image that I saved. That's the actual floor plan of this micro house that I'm going to be modeling. And here I have just some families I downloaded that I'm going to be using in this project. Now all of these families will be linked in the description as well as this image so you can download it and follow along if you wish. So let's go into Revit and I'm going to be starting a new architectural template project. And first I know I'm, this is getting quite boring but I'm just going to set the units. That's what you always have to do. And I'm going to be using meters and here I'm just going to check perhaps two decimal places okay okay and now once we're here let's load the image that we're going to be using so I'm going to go here to insert find image go to desktop and here we have its image one and I'm just going to place it but as you can see on this image we don't really have anything to go by when scaling this we only have these here surfaces but we don't have any dimensions now what to do in this kind of situation well first I'm going to scale it down a bit because it's obviously too big just according to the template and now I'm just going to create some walls around this so here I'm going to go to walls or you can use the WA shortcut and let's just create a simple rectangle like this that encompasses this bathroom so I'm just going to place these walls like this and now you can go here to architecture tab find this room or RM is the shortcut so just type in RM and place the room inside of these walls and once you've done that you can actually kinda hover over it and you can find this cross and select it and here it says the area of this room so it says 2.9 meters and this is 3.15 so we need to make this image just a tad bigger let's try this and now let's expand these walls like so pull this in a bit and this in two okay let's try now now it's 3.3 .3, so it has to be a bit smaller so let's try that let's move the walls again so it's kinda you need to go in and out and now it's 3.15 that's what we have over here so we have the perfect size of this image we have scaled it correctly now we can just delete this room because we don't need it let's just escape out of this okay so now let's start modeling the walls for these here bathroom walls I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to create a new wall so I'm just going to go here to edit type duplicate this wall let's just call this a hundred millimeter wall go OK edit and let's just change this to point, point 0.1 meters or 10 centimeters just go OK and as you can see it's a smaller wall so now we can place it like this and let's select these walls and extend them to the actual size of the house and let's extend this wall too so I'm just going to place it like that okay so once these walls are completed we can add these walls over here too so let's add a wall like that and later on we'll do the actual curtain wall but first let's go into south elevation and just check out these levels so I have here level 1 and level 2. Level 1 will stay at one, at 0. Level 2 will be at 2 meters. That will be the height of the upstairs bedroom area. Or just the, the bed floor. And I'm just going to create another level. So you just type in double L for level. Uh, you can use pick lines. And I'm just going to offset by 1.5 meters like this so level 3 will be at 3.5 so now I can select all of these walls like this in this elevation and just make sure that they go from level 1 all the way up to not unconstrained but to level 3 
and if I go into 3D I can select these two bathroom walls and I can make sure they go up to level 2 because there's the upstairs sleeping area above. Okay so once this is completed we can go back into level 1 and let's create the floor so I'm just going to go here to floor and just create a rectangle like this. Just go finish, go into 3D, select this, go copy here, copy to clipboard, paste, align to selected levels, go to level 3 and paste it like that. Now we can select all of these walls and just make sure to attach top base to this wall over here. Okay, so once this is completed, let's do our curtain wall over here. So I'm just going to go to level 1. And as you remember, we had our image underneath, but we can't see it. So I'm just going to select this level, right click, go override graphics and view by element. And here for surface transparency, let's just type in something like 60. And now we can... Oh, why we... Why did this happen? By element, transparency, okay, 60. Okay, it was checking the enter, so that's the problem. So you need to use the slider here to 60 and then hit apply. I didn't hit apply. So just go okay, and now you can kind of see the image underneath. So here we have this door, and the door is, as you can remember from the image, going from bottom, uh, from this bottom floor all the way up to the roof floor. So to do that, I'm just going to create a curtain wall piece here, and I'm going to be splitting the wall using the SL or split tool, and then I'll just move this over here, and move this over here. So let's go into wall command, so WA is the shortcut, go here and just scroll down and find store front. Make sure it's connected to level 3 and then let's just create one segment over here, one segment here and connect it all the way here. So once we have that let's go into 3D and as you can see it's kinda poking through the roof so just attach it to this roof here and delete these elements that we don't need anymore. Now I'm going to come here and select this mullion uncheck this or unpin it. Again, by tapping the tab key you can kind of scroll through, unselect this or unpin it. Again, select this one, unpin it, and select this one as well, and unpin it. Now, once you've done all of this and you've selected this corner mullion, you can go to the properties panel and change this to this here L corner mullion. So you just select this, you go delete the elements, and now you have this corner mullion. And if you go into level one, you can see it's kinda corresponding to the corner. Okay, so once that's completed, let's add the doors. So here we need one sliding door, and here we need just a normal opening door. So let's do this normal opening door first, it's easier. So I'm just going to use the tab key to kinda scroll through and unpin this glass and now I need to change it but if we go here into the properties panel we can't really change it for anything so I need to load in a family so I'm just going to go here to insert load family go into metric let's find the metric a, a, a door here we have the door and let's find the single one open it up and now if we again use the tab key scroll down here, find this door, and then we can just switch to the other side, and if, if we go into 3D, it looks... well, we can't really see it. That's because our detail level is not at fine, it's at medium, but we, when we set it to fine, you can see here we have this door handle. Now let's go to this door over here. If we kinda use the tab to switch through elements, you can see we have this remove add remove segments. So we're just going to unpin this segment, use this add remove, and now as you can see we have removed the middle segment down this in this area. So if I go into level 1 you can see it's just one big piece of glass, so let's add the sliding door. So I'm just going to go here to insert, load family, go to desktop, and here we have the sliding door, let's just find it. curtain wall panel, open it up, and now if I kinda tap through this, unpin this glass element, 
and let's search here we have this sliding door so if I select it you can see now we have this loaded in I'm just going to flip it to the other side and flip it inside and now we have a sliding door and for the last thing I'm going to do in this tutorial I'm going to add a kitchen but before we do that if we go here in south elevation and we see this is at 2 meters but I want my kitchen to be at 2 meters so let's make sure that this is at 2.1 and then I can have just a floor that's 10 centimeters thick over here and my kitchen can be 2 meters. So if I go here in level 3 or in level 2 basically, which is this, I can now create my kitchen. So I'm just going to go to architecture, floor, or not the kitchen, but the floor above the kitchen. So I'm just going to create a floor like this and now I'm just going to go here to edit type, duplicate this to a 100 millimeter floor and go into edit type, just type in point, point 0.1, go OK, OK, and finish. And make sure these walls are attached to that floor. And now if I go into 3D, it looks like this, and we can notch our kitchen underneath. Now for the kitchen, I'm just going to load it in as a family component. So I'm just going to go here to place component, load family, go to desktop, and here I have small kitchen and open it up. Wait for a second and here's our kitchen. Now I'm just going to place it kind of like that and as you can see it's kind of too tall so we need to kind of modify this family. So I'm just going to go here to edit family and if I open up these views you can see we have this elevation and let's go to front elevation and here we have some height parameter. Now I'm just going to delete this parameter so I'm just going to unpin it and delete it and now we can play around with these reference planes. So I'm just going to move this down and I'm going to select it, move this dimension over here. This says 2700. I'm going to move it to 2000 and it kind of moved everything down. So we can kind of adapt these elements. So I'm just going to move this down kind of like that. And then these cabinets elements, I'm just going to move up here. And if I go into 3D, yeah, now it's a lot shorter. We kind of lost those cabinets, but we kept these lights over here. So I'm just going to go load into project and close and save changes. Yes, replace existing file, override file. And as you can see now, it dropped to the height of our upper sleeping floor. So if I go into level one, I can just select it, move it a bit, rotate it by 90 degrees. And then just by using the align tools, so AL for align, I can align it over here and over here as well. And it leaves us enough space for the stairs. So I'll continue with this tutorial tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe to catch it. Please like this video, share it with your friends. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.